But, 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 come to me with a solution. Okay, okay, as I said, leave it at some point. Who are you? Hi, I'm Deborah. Deborah Gordon. My name is Demo Corgan. I'm not asking that. What are you doing here? Today I started working in the marketing department. <laughs> With this style and this outfit and in the marketing department. <laughs> you must be confused. Oh look, the supermarket is across the road. I heard they were looking for a cashier there, yeah. Look, let me give you some advice. If you're going to work in this job and you're a woman, style matters. A blow-dried hair, a nice makeup, a mini skirt. If a woman does not have these, she has no place in business. I do not agree with you. In my opinion, employees should stand out with their knowledge, experience, and hard work. Oh, you women and your bullshit about equality, working, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, have you received the equipment you will use? Human Resources has not delivered it yet. Well, tell them not to bother. I hired her. She has a very good resume. Moreover, her future is bright. And if I were you, I would try to get along with her. Sir, it is not my intention to question your decision, but... But what? I mean, didn't you see her outfit? She came to the office in shabby attire for the very first day. I mean, isn't it bad also for you that we put her in front of clients? Agencies like this? It is very important for our image. If it's a man, it could be, but... But if she's not as attractive as a woman, then how can she be useful? Look, we've talked about this many times. You are experienced and successful in marketing. However, I do not approve of your attitude and behavior. I'm telling you again, you will get along well with both our newly recruited friend and all our female friends. Look, Demo, I will give you some advice. Deborah. Whatever. As long as I'm around, just don't be around, okay? If you say so. That's exactly what I say. Oh, by the way, take this. Go buy yourself one or two pieces of makeup. I mean, go blow dry your hair or something. We don't have the right to spoil anyone's visual pleasure, do we? Friends, a new CEO has been appointed to our company. They will be at our company in a few days. The CEO expects all of our employees to conduct an analysis of the company's strengths and weaknesses. We will evaluate it together with our manager. Until the meeting with the CEO, I'm sure all of you will do great things. Excuse me, do you have a minute? No, but anyway, you are here. What is it? I could not attend the meeting yesterday because I was in human resources. I guess so. The new CEO asked all employees for a SWOT analysis. If possible, I would also like to prepare an analysis. <laughs> Don't be funny, Demo. What do you know about SWOT analysis or something? It's not like making a shopping list, I'm telling you. Deborah, I would still like to try my luck. Look, Demo. Don't bother your unblow dried head with such things, okay? Go do whatever you want. Take your phone. You must have a cat or a hamster or something. Watch a few cat videos. Then try to find them food or sand or something, okay? Hi, I'm Deborah. Hi, I'm May. Nice to meet you. I guess you just started? Yeah, it's been a few days. Welcome. Well, look, maybe it's not my duty, but the other day, I witnessed your conversation with the chief administrative officer. I advise you to be careful with that man. Why did you say that? He is one of those who think that women have no place in business life. I mean, he thinks we can only do secretarial jobs or something like that. According to him, the only duty of women is to contribute to the image of the company. That's why he took me to his department. I met his appearance criteria. 
Well, did you share these problems with the senior management? I'm sure they will think the same if I make such a complaint. I find myself at the door. Anyway, I think I talked too much. No, no. Thank you for sharing these with me. Well, what do you think of the work the new CEO wants? Honestly, I think that for the first time in this company, our opinions are valued. But as long as this manager is on the election board, I don't think anyone, or rather a woman, can have their opinions respected. I think you should be prepared. Yes, I will be prepared. Hello. For the SWOT analysis for a new CEO wanted, I also prepared something. I wanted to leave it for your review. Of course you can. Look, there's a paper shredder in the corner. Leave it on it, actually. Don't even bother me. Just put it in and press the button. Don't you think you're going a little too far? Wait. I've just started. I see your hair is still the same. But it's clean. If you don't take your hand off in three seconds, I'll scream. Huh. Leave it! Come on, calm down. Don't you even understand a joke? Leave your work on my desk and then leave my room immediately. You will do what I tell you. Now call Demo. Demo. Deborah, sir. Whatever. First of all, congratulations. Yours is the most successful SWOT analysis in the office. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. However, I think it would be better if May did this presentation instead of you. Tell her the details of the analysis. I don't understand, Deborah. I wouldn't want it to be like this. Shut up. I want it like this. It's going to be like this. May will make the presentation when the new CEO arrives tomorrow morning. Well, may I ask why? Don't you still understand? Don't you ever look in the mirror or anything? I mean, it's not just your hair or your makeup. Even your outfit is sloppy. You don't even wear lipstick. How can I say, simply, you are not presentable? You are young, but neglected. I mean, you are not like a woman. It would be inappropriate for me to take you before the CEO from day one. Oh, but oh no buts or ifs. I know the truth. Isn't it enough? Okay, stop it. If it's okay for you, you can give your resignation and go. The door is there. Demo. Deborah? I'm so sorry. Tomorrow, I'll tell the new CEO this is your project, but if you do that, the manager will fire you. I don't care. I'm tired of him, his abuse, and his insults. I don't want to work with a bully like him anymore. No matter what, nothing is more important than my honor. Guys, the new CEO lady will come soon. Is our CEO a woman? Yes, a woman. Is there a problem? No, of course. Why should it be a problem? Oh, I would have sprayed more perfume if I had known. And our CEO lady is coming. Sorry, I'm a little late. Deborah, what are you doing here? I see you know my name now. What happened to your Debo Gorbin jokes? I'm Deborah Gordon. And I'm the new CEO of the company. Hmm, so you prepared that analysis for yourself? Forget about that analysis now. Do you think that you're the first bully man I've ever met? I've met so many bullies like you, who despise women who think they're important. I gave up first. I resigned, but then I thought... Surrendering to such men is not the solution. 
from that day on, I decided to fight. Yes, I chose the difficult way, but here I stand before you as CEO. Well, Miss Gordon, you got me wrong. No, I got you completely right. I spoke to the women in your department. You are not just an anti-women manager. You are a pathetic person who harasses women and tries to get his perverted wishes done. What? Am I fired now? Yes, you're fired. But you can't get rid of it that easily. Because what you did was a crime. Our company lawyers will do their best to get you legal punishment. And I, to make sure that you will not be able to harass any women. Be sure I will make a great effort. Miss Gordon, I'm begging you. Leave the company right now. Or I will have the security guards throw you out. Miss Gordon, I really didn't expect this much. On behalf of all of my female colleagues, I thank you very much. Actually, I thank you. What you did yesterday was so noble. The principal will complete the paperwork as soon as possible. We will be honored to have you as marketing manager. What? But I... Do not worry. I did some research on you. I have no doubt that you will be able to do the job right. And thank you again for reminding me that the only way to deal with these types of bullies is to fight them. Not give in to them.